Welcome back to the Camp Jack series. Today we're going to step outside the box and do something a little bit different. We're going to do loaded baked potatoes and we're going to bake the potatoes in a Dutch oven. So we're going to have a great episode for you so stand by for loaded baked potatoes. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some Idaho russets and uh, we're going to wash them up. I've got five here. That's, uh, that's what we'll need for tonight. And uh, I take Crisco. You can use butter or uh, olive oil, whatever, whatever you want uh, as on top to put on them to keep them from uh, drying out too much. And then uh, we're going to wrap them in tin foil after we take a, a fork and poke a little hole in them to let the uh, steam out of them while we're baking. We're just going to roll them up like that. Then we're going to put them in the Dutch oven. And we're using... As you can tell, the wind's blowing a little bit tonight. We're going to use... Uh, Set that on top so it doesn't uh, roll away. These uh, potatoes were furnished to us today by uh, Steckline Farms in Blackfoot, Idaho. Uh, they raise uh, the best, some of the best potatoes in the in the state. I'm sure there's some other farmers that'll disagree, but uh, that's my opinion. Just put a good layer of Crisco on them, and uh, we'll poke a hole in it. Kind of messy, and this this portion's kind of messy, but that's fine. And uh, this takes about an hour to make. Uh, gets away from my 30-minute deal, but when we're in the hills and hunting, I get tired. Uh, so sometimes I take a day off, and this is usually what I cook when I get to that day off. And the guys really love it. And uh, so this potato here, I've got the bottom full. I'm going to put this one on top. And uh, since we're doing, going to have an oven at 350 degrees, it'll even cook the one on top. So it doesn't have to be touching the bottom. So... That's what it looks like when it's all loaded up. Okay, so if we're using a 12-inch Dutch oven, we're going to put 10 briquettes on the bottom. Wow, is that hot. The limb gloves will have a little grease in them. Then we're going to put 14 on about 14 on top. Scatter them all the way around the top.
They're pretty small briquettes. We'll see how they cook. Uh, we'll check them in about a half an hour. We'll save these briquettes because we might need them down the road. And uh, that will be at uh, the temperature in that Dutch oven a few minutes will be 350 degrees. And it takes about an hour for them to bake. So let's give it a little time. Well, we're halfway through the cooking process. And we're going to take a look at uh, how the potatoes are coming. It's been about 30, 35 minutes. We're going to check them and uh, looks like they're just about half cooked. Now I'm going to take these potatoes on the bottom and I'm going to take them and just, I'm going to turn them over so that you don't scorch on the bottom. I've got a fresh batch of briquettes going, and I'm going to since those are burnt out on the bottom, we're going to put another eight on the bottom or ten. I want to make sure we get some good hot ones down here. There we go. We're going to put another 14 on top. We'll make it 15 even. Just give it a little bit more get up and go there. So uh, we'll give these another 30 minutes, and uh, while we're doing that, we're gonna we're gonna finish our dinner. Boy, is that wind really picked up this afternoon? Uh, now'd be a good time for you to subscribe to Bannock Outdoor Television, like it, and share it with a friend. Now we're gonna we're gonna make our stuffing for our baked potatoes. We're gonna fry up uh, about two pounds of hamburger. And this is 80-20. I just like the flavor of that 80-20. Break it up a little bit. And uh, we'll just let it fry. Better, better tie everything down today because that wind is really picked up. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper just to your taste. I'm also going to put in, uh, we're going to put some salt in there. I just put about the, put the amount that you like in there. I just put a little teeny bit in just to give it a little extra flavor. And uh, and I'm going to put chili powder in today. And in the wind, you don't want to get this in your eyes. And I'm just going to take and put just a little teeny bit in there to just give it a little added flavor. Not a lot. Probably about a half a teaspoonful. That pan's going to get hot, so we'll put our uh, our mitt on. Mickey Mouse today.
All we want to do is brown this up to where it's just brown. It's not, uh, it's not overcooked, just to where it's, uh, it's brown and still moist. I want to make sure that hamburger gets crumbled up really good because we're going to use it as a filling. Thank goodness for the, the, the wind cover around the top of the stove. Or it, we wouldn't even have a fire today. If there's any grease on this, you want to drain it off. And this, uh, this what I'm doing today, there's not hardly any, so um, that makes it good for uh, what we have to do here. Today I'm using uh, Old El Paso seasoning. And uh, this is set for a. Always have to get that darn pocket knife out, you know. And in the wind, we want to get it right down there close so we can just see, make sure we get every bit of it in there. Then we're going to add. Two thirds of a cup of water, what it calls for, and we're going to stir it in, and uh, then we're going to bring it to a boil. As that's cooking down. I'm going to add my own little touch to it. I like to use uh, fire roasted diced green chilies from Ortega, and uh, these are mild. So I'm just going to dump the whole can in there just to give it some darn good flavor. And then, I'm going to take a, a half a bottle of paste, uh, restaurant style salsa, salsa, and I'm going to dump half the bottle in there just to, I'm going to let that boil, come to a boil and uh, Man, this is going to be a fantastic meal for those guys. Man, that's really starting to smell good and look good. I think it's about time to grab our baked potato and uh, out of the Dutch oven and uh, we'll plate it up. For some reason our mic quit working so uh, here we're going to check our baked potatoes. Uh, take the lid off and make sure that uh, we uh, they're completely done before we uh, take them off the fire. Or take the charcoal off. You can see I'm checking them with a fork. See how that fork goes in there? They're all completely done. 
those baked potatoes in the Dutch oven are done perfectly. So now we're going to take it off the heat and uh, that'll be uh, Oh, that's awful warm. Then I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Let it melt in there just a little teeny bit. Put the taco meat on top of it. I always like to add a little more salsa. That darn wind today, wow. A little bit of cheese, I use the four cheese Mexican. Then I top it off with just a touch of sour cream. <laughs> 